What is going on guys? My name is Pakazek and today um, I'm going to be showing you kind of like a little trick I guess you could call it with a uh, Harmer's phaser and uh, well, let me get a default thing here first and um, I actually kind of discovered this sort of thing when I was doing the um, the pad one of my later videos and uh, it's just really neat. So um, what you do is you get like a saw series going and I'm actually going to do a square uh, afterwards just to see what that sounds like. But um, I'm actually going to put the, let's make sure this isn't too loud here. I'm going to put a low pass on there. And I'm going to turn it down one octave. So what you do is um, you take the phaser and you go to custom shape. You just have to right click this drop down menu and it brings you to the default custom shape. And all you do is right click to make a new point and drag it all the way down. So it's going up and then it's just flat for the second half. And it gives you this cool um, rhythmic effect. You can turn the harmonizer around too. That sounds kind of cool. You can turn this up now a little bit. Let's see what happens with a square. with the speed and stuff but it's just kind of cool like you end up with like a rhythmic pad type of thing and uh yeah and also there's this other cool idea it's basically the opposite of this so if you take the phaser and basically do the opposite like that uh you get you know that effect in music you hear where it sounds like stuff is like kind of going backwards and it gives you that reminiscent feeling like looking back in the past type of thing. Uh, it gives you that sort of uh, sound. So check it out. It's kind of neat. So I just wanted to share that with you and uh, see what that sounds like. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions about this. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.